It's dawn over the southern Baja on the Pacific. An ancient ritual is about to be repeated as thousands of bait fish have been driven up from 300 feet where predators, marlin and dorado, trap them on the surface. Mexican fishermen will net over 200 tons of these forage fish in a single day. The fish are taken to a fish reduction plant at Magdalena Bay where they will be canned and where over 70% of the catch will be cooked and reduced to feed pigs and chickens. Dorado or mahi-mahi are formidable and voracious predators. The once large bait ball is vastly reduced under their relentless attacks. Bait fish that make it through the day can escape to the depths to join the main school under cover of night. As they head south to the tip of Baja, the forage fish meet new threats. Frigate birds herald the appearance of another school of sardines trapped on the surface. Fishermen angle for marlin, which hunt this bank in large numbers. Today, there are over 86 boats. On this day, a single boat caught and released an incredible 126 marlin, hoping to beat the record of 176 fish caught in a single day. There is a wide variety of natural predators awaiting the bait. Sea lions, marlin, tuna, and whales. It's only a matter of time before this bait ball is discovered. Paradoxically, the sardines find shelter in the shadow cast by this bull sea lion, who helps to maintain the bait in a confined area. This whale is drawn to the fracas and wants to be a spoiler. Even with its large scoops and immense size, it fails to yield a single fish.
Marlin moves so fast that it is hard to see what they have done. When the bait ball has been decimated to about a dozen fish, the pace of the hunt increases even more. We dubbed it the grand finale. After the finale, all that remains of the sardine's existence is a beautiful pattern of shimmering scales. Is this the last sardine?